Hello, welcome. So today I'm gonna do something I'm not sure if anyone's done before, kind of. I've seen a lot of videos called what I actually used in my hospital bag, like, you know, for pregnancy, but I'm doing mine a year later. So I've had a lot of time to kind of think about what I would change or, you know, things that I actually used or I didn't want, whatever. So I think I'm gonna do that and take a look back so recently I watched my old what's in my hospital bag video here. <laughs> yes. And if you look, I'm so puffy. My fingers are swollen. I look awful. But that's what happens when you're really big and pregnant. <laughs> okay. So I just want to give you which thing, what I used, what I didn't use um, from that video. So, and I'll say if I recommend it or not. So let's get started. First, I had like a rolling suitcase. That was my hospital bag, and I actually really like that just because it's not something you have to physically like carry on your shoulder. You can just roll it along, and it actually makes it so much easier. Like, for example, for me, I was induced, so I could just roll it myself, you know, or if you have somebody with you, they can take it, you know, because Jenna had a bunch of other things as well. So I would say, yes, a rolling suitcase, you know, with a handle, like that's a good idea. The next two things are kind of related. The first one was a really long like USB cable or like a plug for your phone. I think these are 10 feet long, uh, plus also a multi USB like charger plug. Um, both of those are a definite yes. Um, like I mentioned again, I was induced, so we were there quite a long time. Plus also we stayed an extra two days because our baby was in the NICU. And so we needed to have our phones or laptops, like whatever. So this was really nice because sometimes the plugs were really far away in the wall and that just meant that we had plenty of cord and we weren't stuck anywhere and it was just really good and perfect. So I definitely would recommend bringing some sort of USB plug, like a multi-USB plug and a really, really long cord for whatever your phone is, definitely. Um, another thing was an external battery. Now, I didn't actually use this but I wouldn't say you shouldn't bring it. I mean, I think it's really good backup just in case you're in an area where there's no plug or they're all full or I don't know. I mean, I just think it's a good idea to have regardless that it's pretty small. The one that I used is actually pretty small and it worked great. So I didn't use it, but I would still bring it again. Um, I brought a bunch of just quarters and things. I don't remember because um, it's been a while if we actually used them because we did have quite a few snacks we brought. Plus also um, the hospital food was there, so we just bought that. But it's not a bad idea to bring with you um, just for like a vending machine because, you know, you might want something like a different snack or you run out or I don't know if you're craving something specific, then just bring it. I, I, it's a small thing to bring, so it's a good idea. Um, I did bring our vlogging camera and the charger for that. And yes, if you want to, you know, film your birth before, after, yes, obviously bring it. I mean, you can use your phone too if you want, but I don't know, it's not necessary, but I did use it before the birth and I'm pretty sure I don't think I used it after just because it was such a crazy mess. Um, but you could do that. And, you know, maybe if your hospital allows it, you could actually film the birth, but mine didn't. And also, I would say bring earphones, um, like headphones of some sort. I think it's a really good idea just because um, because I was induced. I was there a really long time. So sometimes it's nice to just put in some headphones, you know, watch something on your laptop or listen to music. Or if um, you have wireless headphones, those are really nice. You can keep those on, you know, while you're having contractions. If you want to listen to music or do sort of hypnobirthing, I definitely use them. Next is playing cards, <laughs> um, and yes, well, okay, here's the thing. If you're induced, yes, bring them. Bring playing cards, bring games, bring books, whatever, yes, because it takes a really long time, and we use the cards a lot. However, if um, I use them, but like I said, I would only bring them again if you're going to be induced. Only because if you're not, you don't have time to play cards. You know, if you're actually in active labor, then don't. So I use them, but I was induced. Uh, the next thing is chapstick. I think I use it a little bit, but I guess it really depends on yourself if you tend to use chapstick a lot. 
bring it with you if you don't no big deal they have plenty of like Vaseline and stuff there so it's really not necessary but I did use it <laughs> the next thing I'm pretty sure um you, I, we didn't use and I don't think most of you will use unless you are deaf or your spouse is deaf <laughs> um but they're hearing aid batteries um we didn't end up using them there but you know it just happened that we didn't um, obviously it's good, you know, if you have hearing aids while you're there, um, you know, it's always good to have a backup battery, which I always have regardless, but we didn't use them. Next is a menstrual cup. Obviously I don't need it, but, uh, Jenna didn't actually also. Again, it's just one of those things that we always have like in my purse regardless, just because sometimes you forget and you might start soon and you just never know. So we didn't use it. Next is a conditioner, and yes, uh, Jenna did shower, and so she used her shampoo and conditioner. Um, I personally don't use conditioner, I don't need it, but if in general, yes. It's so, so important to bring all of your shampoo, conditioner, face wash, I don't know, soap, whatever you have, bring those with you, because I used all of them. Because after you give birth or, you know, if the other person is there supporting you, your support person, they're there a long time sometimes. And so you really need to take a shower and it feels so much better. So it's really important. We use them and I would bring them again. The next thing is snacks. And yes, bring snacks. Because while you're in labor, I mean, I was awake for a really long time, which means I wanted to eat. Um, luckily, I was able to eat. I believe some places won't let you, but I could eat. Um, and Jenna was eating as well. So we didn't want to pay too much money for hospital food. Um, but again, we used all of our snacks and we definitely need, you definitely need to bring some, you know, regardless if you're in active labor or not, if you're induced or not, just bring snacks. <laughs> Also, bring a folder with you. It can include your birth plan or just any other paperwork for the hospital. Definitely bring it with you. You don't have to bring a birth plan if you don't need to. Our birth plan pretty much went out the window. Um, but so it's not really important for me. Um, unless you have a really, really strong resistance to something, I wouldn't bring a birth plan. Um, you can just inform them and that's fine. And half the time they don't even read it. Um, but a folder is definitely a good idea because they will give you lots of different paperwork and brochures and stuff like that so just bring an empty file folder with you and you we used it um nursing tank tops or nursing bras yes if you intend to breastfeed whether you're just trying to breastfeed or not definitely bring those they're really nice to have it's easy to just unclip clip back on um and it's very comfortable just walking around plus you know it helps to kind of compress your stomach a little bit after birth and regardless if you have a c-section or a vaginal birth it's just really nice to have and i really like that even though i didn't end up breastfeeding for very long it was still really nice to have um a tennis ball in a sock Ooh, no we didn't use it i honestly just think it's so much better for like you know jenna just used her hands to nod and prod on my back and I don't think the sock thing really works so no. <laughs> um the next thing is adult diapers. Again it's kind of a preference thing. I didn't end up using them. I brought some and I never used them. I just used the hospital had like really thick pads. I'm um, like really really big like I guess like menstrual pads you'd say and I just used theirs. Honestly I like them um but some people really don't like the feeling of pads. They feel that they're not like stickier, they're not comfortable. So if that's you, then bring adult diapers with you and it just kind of envelops you better, I guess. I don't know, but I never used mine so I wouldn't bring them again. But I just used what the hospital had and took advantage of that. Uh, the next thing or actually a few different types of clothes. Yes, definitely bring very, very comfortable clothes with you. Um, if you're the pregnant person, bring all maternity clothes because after you give birth, you're still going to be very puffy and swollen and you know, I just, I would just bring maternity clothes, like, you know, tank tops, pajama pants, or like sweatpants or something like that. Just really, really comfortable clothing. Don't try to be petty and cute. You know, if you want something specifically for pictures, you know, maybe get like a cute robe or something like that. I did have a short sleeve robe, which was so worth it. 
Um, I always get really hot, so a long sleeve robe, I would not, I wouldn't like that. But it was really nice to have something to just kind of tie on that could come off easily and put back on. But short sleeve made it really hot, so I definitely recommend in a used short sleeve robe. And then plus also for clothing, make sure you bring enough for a few days, more than what you would think. And you can always just kind of keep them in the car, like in a separate bag or something, um, and just put it in the car beforehand. Because we ended up staying two more days um, because our baby was in the NICU and I was so stressed and just a mess that I refused to leave the hospital. Like I wouldn't do anything. And then Jenna didn't want to leave because I was so stressed out. And so we didn't go home to get more clothing. And I think we ended up staying in the same thing for almost like the whole time. Well, but I mean, it was fine, but just kind of warning, you never know what's going to happen. Uh, slippers. I would say, yes, I brought like a flip flop type of slipper. Um, and again, that's really going to depend on you. I actually only use them a little bit. Um, I don't know if I would bring them again. I probably wouldn't, to be all honest. Um, I'm not, I want to say like, it sounds awful. Like I don't care about germs, but I kind of don't. Like most people will put on socks or slippers and walk around the hospital, but I just walked around with like no socks, just barefoot. And I was fine. I didn't care. Um, so again, I would not bring them, but again, that's up to you. Uh, the next are nursing pads, and yes, I would say to bring them. Um, I didn't do well with breastfeeding. Um, I didn't end up leaking or anything, but if you're trying to breastfeed and you're fortunate enough to have enough milk and a good supply, then it's definitely worth it. Just bring some with you. If you want disposable, that's fine, or um, you can get the reusable washable type. Those are fine as well, but I would bring them just in case. It's not going to hurt. Dermaplast. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that stuff is amazing. The blue bottle only though. Um, that stuff is just wonderful. I definitely use that if you're having a vaginal birth. Yes. Um, because that area down there gets all screwed up. <laughs> so yes, get it. I think some hospitals provide it, but mine didn't, I don't think, but I already had it. A uh, heating pad. I did not use my heating pad personally, um, just because, I don't know, I think I just forgot about it or something, but some people prefer to have heat when they're in pain, and I was in full back labor, and actually it might have helped, but the only reason I didn't use it, I would still recommend to bring it though, just because the hospital does have um, like disposable like heat things you can put on. But you could end up using a lot, and it's just really wasteful. So just bring a heating pad. It's not going to hurt, and, but I didn't use it. The next is just toiletries in general. Again, yes, bring them with you. Like I mentioned before, shampoo, conditioner, face wash, uh, soap. You can bring uh, like a razor um, if you want to do that for your legs, but really doubt you're going to use it. Um, and you can bring makeup. You can. I mean, it's just... Something else, if I, I make make another video about that, but I never used it. I didn't really care. But again, up to you. Um, another thing we brought was my own towel. So I would definitely recommend bringing your own towel. If you can, like a really big towel that you can wrap around because the hospital one sucks. We definitely used it. Um, the next are, is my breast pump. I did bring it with me. Um, I never actually brought it into the hospital, and in all honesty, unless you want someone to like help instruct you how to use it, I wouldn't because the hospital will have their own like extra strength hospital grade breast pumps, and they worked really great. So, I mean, I would say you really don't need to bring one. I never used it. Um, snacks for the nurse, um, for the rest of the staff, yes. Now, I didn't use them because I gave them away, but I think they were really grateful for that. It's just kind of a thank you for all the works. They do so much work helping, and it's just worth it, so bring it. Um, bottles, I don't know. It really depends. If you know for sure you're not going to be breastfeeding at all, obviously bring bottles with you. Um, that would be helpful. I think the hospital would have them for us if you need those, because um, we did end up bottle feeding them a little bit because of my breastfeeding problems. But you can bring them if you know that. But if you're not sure, just bring them anyways. I never use them, but it didn't hurt to have them. So that's just kind of my opinion. And a car seat, yeah, duh, we used it. We're still using it, great. <laughs> For the baby bag, um, we had some hand sanitizer. I mean, in all honesty, it's just because it was connected to like the backpack bag. I and mean, that's what we use from now on, but you definitely don't need that. The hospital has plenty. Um, wipes, in all honesty, you don't need them. The hospital has 
plenty there. And I mean, you can probably end up stealing some before you leave too. So you really, really don't need to bring your own like at all. Um, a baby jacket, again, it depends when the baby's born. If it's cold outside, you can bring a jacket, but just remember you can't have anything too thick, um, like no type of puffy jacket, jackets in a car seat. So the best thing to do, I would say, is if it's cold, is don't bring a jacket. Just bring like, you know, something thin that's long sleeve, and then you can get um, like a winter car seat cover. Um, I'll show you over here. Yeah, so get that. It's a better idea. And then you can just put a blanket over their legs if you want to or whatever. Um, a swaddle blanket, I mean, yes, uh, we did use it for pictures, but that's about it. This hospital has like tons of blankets that you can use, but again, it kind of depends on your preference, but we did use it, but I would just bring one. Uh, lotion, uh, like a spray bottle, I wouldn't bring either of those. It's really not necessary. If for some reason you needed lotion, the hospital would have some, but we didn't end up using it. Uh, nail clippers and nail file, again, it's, we didn't use it, but it's not going to hurt to have it. Um, I think the hospital has if you need it, but I mean, again, that's up to you, but we didn't use it and probably wouldn't need that, you know, for at least the day or two that you're there. Uh, baby hat. Mm, again, up to you. Um, if you want something different than what the hospital provides, um, you know, the hospital hats aren't exactly the cutest thing ever. Um, but we did end up using our hat, especially because it was cold outside. Um, so that was just to kind of bring them home. So I would just say bring maybe one or two just to have it for the drive home. Uh, baby socks, yeah. <laughs> uh, again, it just kind of depends if they're born in the warm seasons. You don't need them. But if it's cold, then yes. Um, we actually use newborns and they actually keep their socks on well. Um, but we used our, like the scratch mittens. Um, we never got ours to work. They would always fall off. I don't know. Um, so we didn't use them. They would just always fall off after like a minute or two. So I wouldn't recommend bring them. I would just say bring like the long sleeve onesies that you can flip over their hands. Those work better. Or just socks. You could put those over their hands. The last two things are bringing diapers. <laughs> No, you do not need to bring them at all. The hospital has plenty, again, and you can steal some too and put them in for the way home. So do not bring them. Don't waste your time. And then the last thing is a pacifier. Um, I know that that can be kind of controversial to use it or not to use it. So again, that's your decision of what to do. We did end up using um, the pacifier from then on. And just FYI, I can kind of explain more in another video, but we've had no issue whatsoever stopping him using the pacifier, but I can explain more of that in another video if you want. Um, but he used a pacifier while he was in the NICU, and they kind of just gave him one, like whatever. So we used it from then on. So you don't need it, and the hospital has them. So again, I wouldn't bring a pacifier with you. If you really want a specific one, the hospital will give you one. So yeah, that is it. That is what I used, I didn't use, what I recommend for a hospital bag. Hopefully this was helpful. Again, it kind of depends on your hospital, what they do have, what they don't have. Everything's a little bit different, but overall, I would say, I would say bring more than what you think. It's never going to hurt to have something that you don't end up using instead of not having something you wanted. So again, I mean, I'm just kind of remember when you're packing, pack for longer than what you think you're going to stay because you never know. You could have an emergency C-section, you know, the baby could end up staying quite a long time in the NICU for a few days or a week or whatever. You just never know. And sometimes it's really hard to leave them. So again, you just never know. Pack more than what you think. I mean, I'm not supporting, you know, the don't be minimalist, minimalist in the hospital, but that's just my opinion. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, and let me know what were the type of things that you used in your hospital bag. Or if you're going to be birthing soon, what are the things that you're packing? Are they different than mine? Let me know. And we'll see the next time if I'm pregnant again, hopefully <laughs> later. Um, we'll see if I pack the same things. I'll look back on this video and the previous one too. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye. Bye.